So I have been busy. You can see, finally have a barn to work out of. An old barn, old wooden barn. It's, uh, it's actually in really good shape for its year. All the stuff here. Got the horses moved in. A little tour right there. We'll go over in detail a little bit later. But for now, what I'm going to start out with is uh, just kind of telling you where I've been, what's been going on. Um, as most of you know, I work some pretty uh, stupid hours and uh, just been busy with work for the most part. Uh, I bought this place, uh, planning out, building a house and just between that and horse shows and trying to do other stuff, I've been busy and really haven't felt like picking up the camera. So we're going to get right into it uh, today. Um, we're going to be working on the horse trailer. Uh, I got some stuff to fix on it and I'll get you up to speed with stuff I've already done. So we'll head out there right now. It's going to be a little windy. All right. So you can see we are putting a new bumper on the rear of this thing. Um, it's the old one. It used to go full length, but this trailer's no five. So as you, with any rubber, it gets old and dry rotted out. And so uh, you can even see right there, big chunks from the horses stepping on it and needs replaced. So it was full length and then they stepped on it and it ripped right here. There's actually like a huge chunk ripped off of it. So I decided to cut it and move it down, but we got a new one ordered in. So we're putting that on today. Some of the other stuff that I've done actually uh, probably two weeks ago. Um, we travel around a lot for horse shows and the, tra the trailer tires were getting a little old so we uh, went and got some new tires for it and when I was doing that I was spinning one of the hubs and there was actually like a little bit of a, a grinding noise coming from the one pulled it apart and the brake shoes fell right out of the thing so I went ahead and I put uh, new brakes all the way around and fully repacked all the bearings all the bearings looked in really good shape so I just used those this bumper is 96 inches long um, and the trailer is not so you can only order these at that long length so you just got to cut them down and actually these bolt holes are a little bit narrower than those which is nice um, but we're gonna have to redrill holes get some more bolts and do it that way and the way this works is they have this aluminum piece that kind of works as like a a uh, little bit of support for it. So we gotta go ahead and pull that off. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, as you can see where it sits right under there, you know, it runs into where it locks. So we're gonna actually we're gonna notch this out a little bit so it sits nice in there. All right, don't mind the mess in the workbench, but I just spent uh, a whole 20 seconds cutting this thing off. So in order to make the holes kind of center up where I gotta cut it, I had to cut two inches off this end. And um, I was contemplating on how I was gonna cut that off. I was thinking I was gonna use a sawzall, but then I was like, eh. It might leave it a little jagged, and I was like, oh, let's see if we can cut it. So, got a brand new blade, and it actually cut through very, very easy. All right, I don't mind the wind noise, but there we have it. I got it cut to length, and I have it notched out for the two latches. It turned out really good. I was actually kind of nervous when I started cutting into this, because I didn't think... I didn't think that little knife was going to be able to cut it, but I mean, look at that cut line. I think it cut that pretty daggone good, if you ask me. Alrighty, so I got to run and grab some bolts. Um, and unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today, so I'm going to pick back up with this tomorrow. Alrighty, guys, next day. Um, I've been working on this for a little bit, haven't really picked up the camera yet. And we ran into an issue, so I'm gonna show you guys what that is. So, I got this thing all cut to length. Got a couple new holes drilled for mounting it there and there. 
that one's not going to get used and neither is this one so but the way this works i mean this thing's pretty dang on flimsy just the way it sits so um what a lot of people do is they put this piece of aluminum or steel behind actually you can see they have a little groove for it right here um but the issue i'm running into is this guy doesn't want to fit about an eighth inch too tall so i can do one of two things here either a i can sit here and grind on this and it's going to take forever or b i could take it to work and just mill it down which is kind of what i'm leaning towards but then it'd be another day into this and i don't know kind of want to get it done all right so as you can see uh I just decided to take the old uh, cutoff wheel to it. <laughs> Not very straight, but it's gonna get the job done. So we got half of it done on the next half. I ended up, I got, and yeah, we'll flip this. I ended up cutting that piece of aluminum off. Uh, you see there, just cut some chunks off of it. Uh, it fit down it. So, tomorrow we'll drill the holes through the aluminum and we'll get it mounted up. Alrighty guys, so once again, I got got to go to work, so pick up with this again tomorrow. If this is kind of how this is going to go. You might get a video a week maybe, if you're lucky. I really only got about two, two and a half hours a day to work on this stuff, so. It's the next morning, um, just got off work. A little tired if you can't tell uh, it's supposed to rain later on so i'm gonna get right into this try and get this knocked out today so i got that piece of aluminum down in there i got all the holes drilled through it um, got my 5 16 drill um, those are 3 8 bolts i'm gonna on those marks there i'm gonna drill and tap new holes in this and uh hopefully it all lines up right all righty Got our first one in there. Got supported down there. Through and drill and tap the rest of them. And just like that, got it installed. I do gotta go back and trim out where that latch comes out at. But other than that, it's all on there. Nice and sturdy the horse's legs all right well that's it for this video um just a little side projects that's pretty much kind of what i'm going to turn this channel into anyways is just me working on stuff because that's all i do anyways so why not record it and put it out there for you guys so if you're stopping in for first time oh i messed that all up if you're stopping in for the first time subscribe like the video and thanks for watching